Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and in this video I'm going to be answering the question, how do you pack and prepare for a Milsim event? Now whether you're a new player looking to start doing some bigger events, or whether you're a more experienced player that needs a little bit more help being organized, this is going to be the video for you. Now I've been playing Airsoft for a very long time and I've been to a bunch of different events around the country, so I feel like I have a really good grasp on what you need to pack and have for those Milsim events to be as organized as possible. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do that. So I'll be breaking this video down into a bunch of different sections. Uh, the first will be based on my tips and prep for the event early on, how to pack your gear and guns, the personal items I recommend you bring, stuff you need to get ready before the event starts, and then also one that you don't see a lot of people talk about, and that is camping on site. And now this is camping at the location rather than during the game. This video is going to be more based on Milsim events that are weekend long, that are like 24 hours, kind of your, your average Milsim event, not your longer scale ones like a Milsim West or even longer events. Those require their own video, which I'll do in the future. But if you're interested in a specific category, make sure you hit the timestamp down in the description and I'll take you right to it. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'll be showing off two really cool things that I think every squad should have together as a team as it can really help your experience of the event just be a little bit more fun. With that out of the way, let's jump into the video. All right, so first off, we're gonna talk about early prep and some of the tips I have for that. Now, once you've figured out what event you wanna to go to and who you're gonna be going with in terms of your friends and your squad, I want you guys to make sure that you go onto their website and download their rules or at least print them off and read through them. And make sure that you know the regulations that they have for whatever team that you're gonna be on. They'll have information there about your combat uniform that you can wear, the gear that you can wear, what guns you can bring, the BBs you can bring, how many mags you can carry, pretty much all the little details that you'll need to know will be on their website. So make sure you guys read through all that, that way you can understand what you're getting yourselves into. Because if you need to buy anything, you need to do it as soon as you can, that way you have it in time. So my next tip for early prep is make sure you go out and play in all the gear that you're gonna be using and going out and playing with the guys that you're gonna be playing with. You're gonna wanna make sure that your gear all fits perfectly and it's all working right, that your gun is shooting how you want it to do, and that your radios and anything else that you're using for the event is all tested beforehand. Because if there's anything you need to fix or replace, you wanna make sure that you have enough time to be able to order that stuff in. Now my next big tip is getting a checklist. So this is the one that I've made for myself. It has all the different things that I like to bring for the event in terms of my game day clothing, my gear and guns, stuff to get ready before the event, personal items, camping gear, camera prep, and then the food and drinks that I wanna bring. Now I will leave a link in the description so that way you can use my list if you want, as well as American Milsom's checklist in case you're interested in that. But I would recommend making your own, that way you can have all the specific things that you like to bring. So having a little checkbox will make sure that you never forget anything when you go on these events. You don't wanna be the guy that's gonna be like, oh no, I forgot this, does anyone have any that I can borrow? So. Make sure you get one of these checklists and follow through it when you're packing. With that out of the way, we're gonna jump now into actually packing your gear and your guns for the event. So let's jump to that. All right, so now we're gonna be talking about how to prep for your event kind of the couple days before or at least the week out. So I like to make sure everything is done so that way when I get to the event, I can just throw on my gear and go play. So obviously, first things, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have your checklist like we talked about in the last section. And on here, you should have a section of things that you need to get ready, charging batteries, loading things. Some of these will be obvious and some of them will be uh, good reminders of what to make sure you have to do. First off, make sure you've got all your LiPo batteries or whatever batteries you're running are all charged. Make sure you've got a, a LiPo safe charger and a LiPo safe bag for charging these batteries. And also you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your radio is nice and charged. And if you've also been provided what frequency your squad's gonna be running, make sure that you've already got your radio set towards that. Now, if you're running cameras and GoPros, this is the time that you wanna make sure everything is all charged up. Every camera has an SD card. All those SD cards are cleared and that all the settings on the camera are exactly what you want them to be. As well as any external battery banks that you might be running, make sure that those are all fully charged as well. Now, one of the things that I really like to do for events beforehand, like usually the day before, is I like to grab my mags and make sure that they are all loaded up. Now, some people disagree with me saying it's not good for the springs to leave BBs in them, but 
I typically haven't had an issue, especially if it's just like one or two days that I have them all loaded up. Like I said, I wanna make sure that if I have to start the game, like rush there and go play, I wanna make sure I don't have to worry about loading my mags. But if you guys are looking for a really cool speed loader, I'd recommend checking out this Odin speed loader. It's a really fast way of loading up mid cap magazines. It just clicks in like a mag wall into any gun, and then you just rotate And you just spin that around until it gets tight and then your mags are loaded. This is so much easier than using the standard speed loaders. It can be quite a pain and having one of these can let you reload all your mags or even your buddy's mags too very quickly. So recommend picking up one of these. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check that out. Now one of the other things that I like to make sure I have already is with my plate carrier. I like to load it up with all the snacks and water that I'm going to be using. So typically I carry a bunch of fruit snacks with me, some cliff bars, Things that are pretty lightweight that are kind of nice to have. And I usually place them in the dangler pouch down here on the plate carrier. That is where I'll store all my stacks so that way they're easily accessible. And then also the day before, I like to make sure I fill up my hydration bladder with nice fresh water and place that into my plate carrier. That way that's another step I don't have to worry about at the day of the event. Now one of the things that you'll learn when you start going to Milsom events or if you've been going for a while is that you need a day pack. And Typically, what most events have you do is you can bring a day pack with you and you can leave it at a FOB, which is a short for forward operating base. And this is kind of the staging area for your team. Most people bring a bag that has all their extra ammo, their food, their tools, and it's pretty much what I've got packed in here. So the week before, I like to make sure that I've got everything I would need in here. For me, in this pouch, I've got at the top here all my CO2 for my Thunder Bee grenades. Now in the main compartment of the pack, this is where I will keep my extra BBs. I'll have my speed loader in here. I've got a little hand speed loader for the pistol. I've also got some, some tools in here, some fog wipes inside, some extra batteries for any of the things that I might be using, extra little flashlight. I also have extra pistol mags at the front, a small knife, and then some extra eye protection and face masks in here. And typically I will also pack a little bit of a lunch in here. Sometimes I'll have a burrito that's tinfoil wrapped or a sandwich or something along those lines. So if we do have a bigger break in the middle of the day, I can get something with a little bit more sustenance than the snacks that I pack. So make sure you guys get a day pack and have it packed with everything you might need. Okay, so once we've got everything all loaded up and ready to go, we're gonna now pack our gear and I'm gonna show you how I do that using some totes. And it's pretty simple, but making sure that you've got everything safely, securely, and, more, and organized is a great way to start the event. So let's jump to that section. Okay, so now we are gonna talk about how to pack your guns and your gear. It's a pretty simple process, but I would definitely recommend you guys pick up a plastic, a hard plastic gun box here, or you can use the gun bags if you want. I like the hard plastic ones as they are a lot more secure. You can add a padlock to them, just give it a little bit more security. This one specifically is large enough so that I can put two guns in it. I always would recommend you guys bring two guns to a Milsom event. One as a backup in case it goes down. If you're unable to afford a second one, at least try and make sure one of your friends or one of your buddies on your squad has a backup or two. So this one here is really, really nice and spacious. I typically keep any barrel bags that I might need for um, the field that I might need depending on the regulations but I can stick both guns in here with the optics and just have them nice and secure like so and then I can close them over here having both guns nice and secure in a gun box is a pretty easy step but I would definitely recommend making sure you have that ready to go so now to pack your gear I would recommend getting a nice hard storage tote like this that can keep things nice and secure nice and sturdy and same principle as the gun box you can add locks to it this one is made by Plano I will leave a link in the description if you're interested in picking it up it's got latches on all four sides wheels on this side so it makes it really easy to transport when it's loaded up and heavy now when it comes to packing the storage tote I like to put my day pack here on one side it fits nice and securely I then get my plate carrier this I'll then put on the other side like so sometimes it helps to take off the quick release for me on this side gets it nice and secure 
and then place my battle belt on top. That is one of the first things that I put on when I'm putting on my gear. And then I place my helmet on the side where the play carrier is. And then you're gonna to wanna to make sure everything fits just nicely. So I typically don't pack my camo in my tote. You can do that if you want. I typically keep my pants and my shirt in with my clothes bag that I carry with me. Since this is essentially the first thing that I put on the morning of the event. But then you've got your lid that goes, goes on the tote. And there we go. Everything is nicely packed. Having this hard storage tote is a great way to keep organized. So definitely recommend you do that. Follow your checklist so that way you don't forget anything. But now we're gonna move on to packing your personal items. Okay, so now we're gonna be talking about personal items. You're gonna be wanting to bring stuff that's gonna be comfortable, keep you warm, have some stuff for hygiene. I always recommend people bring some dude wipes. It can really help freshen yourself up in the morning. Bring your toothbrush, toothpaste, and your deodorant. A lot of people always seem to forget that, so please don't. Hygiene can make you feel a lot better and it can make everyone else's day a little bit better too. So definitely recommend packing extra socks, especially since you're gonna be running around in boots all day. Having extra socks in case they get wet is something that you're gonna to wanna to have. Also would recommend bringing a lot of warm clothes like a beanie, a nice jacket, some nice pants, even some thermal long johns underneath because even if you're gonna go play in a hot environment, when it hits night, the temperatures can drop really hard and if you've been sweating all day, you can actually get really cold. So definitely recommend bringing some warm gear as well. Bring some comfy shoes, bring some nice shorts, some shirts. Having stuff to change out of your gear into that makes you feel fresh is a good idea, especially for the drive home. And depending on how the event is, you might wanna be able to change out of your gear to be able to relax in the evening afterwards. So make sure you follow to your checklist so that way you don't forget anything as well when it comes to personal items. If you need medications, ibuprofen, headache pills, whatever else you might need, braces, make sure you've got that all packed and using that checklist can be a great help to that. But now we're gonna be talking about camping on site, which will have an expanded section on personal items. So I'm gonna to jump to that now and we'll go over that. Okay, so now we're gonna be talking about camping on site. Now, like I mentioned earlier in the video, this is not camping during the milsim. That'll require its own type of video but this is camping at location. Now, typically when you go to a Milsom event, they'll have an area for you to park your vehicle and camp on site with your squad. You can obviously stay in a hotel if you want or have bring a camper, but most of us are gonna be staying in a tent. Now, for me, I have a really nice setup here. I do have a camping channel as well. It's called Seeking Escape. If you're interested in seeing my camping adventures with my wife, I'll leave a link in the description so you can go check that out. But you don't need all this stuff to be able to really enjoy camping out there. And I'm gonna show you guys what you need to make sure that you have because every time I go out, I always see people forgetting the basics. So I wanna make sure you guys are ready to go when you go out and you can actually get a good sleep and actually have fun doing it because camping out with the rest of the squad and the boys can be one of the funnest things. All right, so I have a few things here that are gonna be very handy to have when you go out camping. You're gonna want stuff that's gonna be quick and easy to set up. When you get out to the event, you don't wanna be spending all day trying to figure out how to build that tent. You're gonna want something really easy. Here is my pop-up tent. And I'm gonna show you how quick it is to set this up. And voila, you have the tent set up. All you need to do is add a couple pegs to the front and back. If it's a little bit of windy, you can use the guy ropes and it can fit two average sized people in here, no problem. I will of course leave links in the description for everything that you might need. Now another thing I'd recommend bringing is a tarp. You never know what ground you're gonna end up on. Having a tarp can kind of smooth out the area for your tent to lay on. So definitely recommend packing a tarp. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to not forget is a sleeping pad. Now you can get a foam pad or one like this that is an air mattress pad that you can just blow up a little bit. You're gonna want some comfortable sleep, so having a mattress pad is important. And then obviously you're gonna want a sleeping bag and a nice camping pillow. Now another thing you're gonna wanna have at your campsite is a camping chair. Now you can go with your traditional camping chair like this. I like taking this little guy here, really small, really quick to set up, and it doesn't take up much space. It's very lightweight that if I even needed to, I could take it up to the fob with me. Have a nice camping chair will make your life a lot better when you have a place to sit down. You can see this whole camp set up 
takes no space at all because sometimes those events, those parking lots where everybody's in can be a little cramped. Having a small footprint is a nice thing to have. So make sure you got stuff for warm weather. Bring a beanie. I would bring earplugs as well because some people stay up super late chatting, yelling, playing music. Bring some earplugs that can really help you get a good sleep. Okay, so like I said in the beginning of the video, there are two things that I think every squad should get together. These are gonna be a real game changer and just really improve the experience that you're gonna have out of the event, especially if you're out camping at the location. So the first thing is having a car refrigerator. Now, the one here that I have is made by Isico. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested. It is a really nice car refrigerator, but you now if you guys are gonna be staying out there, it can be really nice to have a way to store food, drinks, and snacks. You're able to keep things nice and cold, especially if you're gonna do some cooking out there. Having a car refrigerator is a really nice thing to have. Now, of course, you can use a cooler, put some ice in there, it'll work. Coolers can be messy, it gets melty, and all that kind of stuff, but Having a car refrigerator is so nice. And this Isico one is a really nice one because you can control it with your phone and you can have it set to whatever temperatures you want and you can just run it off of a simple power source. And that is the next thing I recommend you guys getting. It's getting a small little power generator like this. So this here is a small Jackery Power Explorer. It's the 500 watt edition. There are a bunch of different types that you can get out there. But the reason why I'm recommending you guys get this as a squad is not only can you run a car refrigerator with it, but you can also charge your LiPo batteries when you're out at site. And you can also charge your phone and your other lights and optics. Now, obviously some of these things are a little bit more expensive, but that's why I recommend as a squad, you guys pitch in together, get this as a team. This really helps out the guys when we're out there, making sure everyone's batteries are fully topped off, making sure everyone has some good fresh food, good cold drinks. And then obviously you're gonna wanna make sure that you have like a jet boil or a small camp cooker. You're gonna be able to warm up a nice meal or even have hot coffee or hot tea. We typically like to bring some burgers with us, grill them up on the barbecue. It can really boost morale to have a nice hot, yummy food. The camping part of airsofting can be a lot of fun. Even when you're just hanging around, just talking about the day, make sure you do it right and don't forget anything. Use that checklist and make sure you have everything checked off. All right, that brings us to the end of the video. I really hope it helps you guys get super organized and ready for your next milsim and that way you can really just enjoy the event. Now, if you would like to see more content like this, make sure you let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see me cover. And if you're not already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a like on this video. It does really help me out. But with that being said, I hope to catch you guys out on the airsoft field and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.